Hey guys, this is Crazy Gaming Monkey, and uh, today I'll be showing you on how to open a Xbox 360 DVD drive, and also I'll be showing you how to fix the disk tray stuck problem for the Xbox 360 DVD drive. It's very common for the old, the old Xbox 360, not the slim, the the fat. And then the requirements for this for this repair is alcohol, brush. Uh, cross a uh, screwdriver, some Q-tips, some grease, and a can of air. And uh, the drill isn't necessary. That's if you don't have a screw uh, screwdriver, so you can be able to use a drill. And uh, let's start. Okay, let me get closer for you. Guys. Alright, so first thing you're gonna want to do is there's four screws on the bottom of the DVD drive. What you wanna do is unscrew them and set them to the side. Okay, now you're going to want to turn the DVD drive around and what you want to do with your fingers, your thumbs, you want to push, push on this black and at the same time with your pointy, pointy finger you want to hold this on the bottom, not the black, the, the gray, so on both sides and then just push, okay, now this is the same to the bottom. Okay, and as you heard the bottom, the bottom part fell off, so set that to the side. Okay. Now to take it off, the same thing, set this to the side. And uh, what I like to do is uh, brush it for our customers because we do a free cleaning system. Uh, for all, all of our customers, even new ones, um, we clean it for free and we don't charge. It's not necessary to clean, but I mean, it'll kind of last you longer because there's not really a lot of dirt in your DVD, DVD drive. So what you want to do first, if you can see there's this black, this black, uh, plastic on the bottom of the DVD drive so what you want to do is push it down uh, not too hard but fast okay and then now you should be able to pull out the the tray so what you want to do first is if you could see if you could see it, um, there's this plastic you don't need to do this step, but I want to clean around the gears. So you pull it up a little, not too much, because you could break it. And then you pull this, this part back. Not too hard, neither, because you could break. Okay, so what you want to do, push this up a little, and then on this side, push it up okay and then it should be free
Now you want to brush around the DVD drive. Try not to brush on the laser because if you touch the laser then it will get um, messed up. Like it won't play your games no more. So what you want to do, if you could see this rubber band, you want to take that off. Get your alcohol, the bottle of alcohol. Okay, you want to uh, drop it. Now take it out. Now what you want to do is you want to stretch it. After you do that, pour it back again, set it aside. So now what you want to do is you want to clean the DVD drive. Try not to touch the laser. This is the laser, that's what reads the games. In the bottom too. when you blow the can of air try not to blow directly at the laser try to point, uh, blow it around like around because if you blow like this the dirt could get on top of the laser so try to blow it the opposite way the opposite direction of the laser okay so to the side now what you want to do, if you can see there's two metal bars and then this gold bar. So what you want to do, you want to get your Q-tips and you want to clean those bars because there could be gunk or dirt and that's what kind of uh, slows it from, that's what kind of keeps it from from the uh, the tray to be move back and forth. Okay, so after that, you want to move the laser up, so you could get this part. Move it more up. Okay. Try to get the full bar, and then on the silver too, I mean on the gold. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to get your grease. And then on the clean side, you want to get some. And then put it on the metal, on the silver bars. And I'll move the laser so you could get the other part. Okay, as you can see, it's dirty from a lot of uh, gunk or dirt. So you want to get a new one so you won't dirty it again. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's these lines. This is where the tray passes through so you want to put grease on top of those on top of those lines so we get more grease and then on top of the lines another side too Now what you would want to do, now the next step is get the rubber band out. Ok, 
Okay, stretch it again. Now put it back on. Okay, make sure it's secure that it won't get off by accident. Now what you want to do is bring the tray, but uh, the a warning, a tip is if you could see this metal, I mean plastic bar, you want to push it all the way to the left, because if you put it over here, you won't, you won't be able to put in the uh, tray all the way in, so move it to the left. And then pass it, pass this through here, through these spaces on the left and right side. So it's under. Okay, now you pull it in, and then it should be easy, easy to slide in. Okay. Now you want to put the, the bottom part Now the top Okay, make sure you hear that snap Okay, now put back the screws. Okay. Okay, and for the screws, try not to put them too tight or too loose. Because if you put it too tight, it won't let the tray come out. Okay. So basically, that's it.